over it. And uh, we're going to want to put another trap in this, uh, in the other direction. Like I said earlier, we don't know which way this gopher will be coming. So we'll set another one of these in this direction. Um, you want to use some type of a stake to, to stake these down. The gopher may pull the trap underground if it doesn't kill them immediately. And it, you also may have the trap with the gopher dug up by a raccoon or a dog or, or some other animal and, and pulled away. So the traps will help, the stakes will help prevent that. Uh, finally, I do use a little bit of peanut butter as bait. A lot of gopher trappers don't believe you need any bait and you can catch gophers without it, but I, I'm pretty sure it helps a little bit. It's just a little dab anywhere behind the traps, as long as there's some smell in there, uh, that'll help bring them to the traps. And I think if they're pushing dirt around, sometimes they'll push dirt into your traps and it'll fire the trap prematurely. I believe with the uh, peanut butter bait, um, they will forget about pushing that dirt around and come and investigate that smell and it increases your chances of getting a clean catch on them a little bit. Um, then I, I do lock up behind the, the traps. I just put that plug back in there and filter a little loose dirt over it and that's uh, set up and ready to go. Okay, here's a, uh, a setup we did yesterday marked with these red flags to let us know where the uh, traps are. In this case we also put some, some uh, marker paint around here to run a school and sometimes the in elementary school sometimes the kids pull up these flags. Uh, normally we don't do that. Um, and the gophers are usually in here fast I and mean, usually overnight is plenty of time. If you haven't got them within 24 hours you're, you probably need to check and move your location. We do have two traps set here, um, one in each direction in these tunnels. And this one is obviously empty, not sprung, hasn't been touched. Uh, and hopefully we've got him in this other trap in here. And I believe we do. Yeah, there he is. That is a pretty good size male pocket gopher. Um, and a good catch, got him right, right in the chest. Um, probably killed him quite quickly. And uh, I typically don't reset on the same spot. I look for new activity. Occasionally we set two traps and we, we will catch two. And if you do reset on the same location, you, you may catch more gophers, but it's uh, percentage-wise you're better off setting them on fresh activity. So I'm just gonna clean these up. And, and uh, now I wanna show you, I've um, spent about an hour and a half out here with, uh, I, I have a service business as well, and I spent about an hour and a half out there on this school playing field uh, yesterday setting traps. Uh, with one of my guys, and I just want to show you, we, we probably sat in about 40 or 45 places, and we've pulled those traps already. Um, I just want to show you some of our results from the trapping we did yesterday here. Uh, you can see we've got, uh, uh, I haven't counted these, but I think we've got about, about, 40, or, uh, about 40 gophers here that we trapped in about uh, a couple hours yesterday. And uh, on the all the sets we did, we had about two or three misses and uh, virtually a 100% hit rate. I mean, it's, it's not 100%, it's probably 90 or 95%, but it's very high. Um, so